Hair Alive. This is my, I think I lost count, of um, cosplay they had two videos. So anyways, today we're going to talk about the big on a serger. So this is a serger. This is Laws. This is my old pain in the ass cos um, <laughs> serger. So this is what serger is uh, when you hear anybody talk. So what serger does is it makes these awesome finished edges that you see like in your t-shirts and your shirts from the store uh, stuff. So what it is, it's a four threaded, two needled machine. So right now it's hem and that's what today. So you're gonna pop this open here and here. So this is the, so this is the basic instructions for the Mylock 204D. So the Janome is an awesome machine. I love Janome, but that's my brother over there. So what we're gonna do here, um, so you can see how the threads are set up and where they go. This is your threading guide. So when you break a, it's a pain, it's a, it's a, it, it's awful, <laughs> but it's it's still a great machine and they're wonderful to have. So what I have first is um, when you first set up for rolled hem. Let me show you here what this guy does. So this right here, this guy here, this is your blade. This is your cutting blade. So what the cutting blade does is when you're normally surging, your fabric goes in here and this guy cuts your fabric. You don't want it, you know, bigger than this, but it will cut off your fabric and that's why I have this little basket here. So what you do when you first set up is you have to push, push it in here, turn, and disengage your blade. Okay. Now, of course, there's other blades or there's other videos on here that are probably better set up than mine, but that's okay. You're following a cosplayer. So this is the nitty gritty of cosplay. Then you push this guy in here to open that up. And that allows you to adjust this. You want to put it on R for rolled hem. Okay. So you got those fixed. Okay. Close that. Close that. So then you remove this thread. This is your left thread, your yellow, and turn this to zero, pull it out, remove your needle. So the reason it's already done, um, you're not seeing me do it all over again is because I did a video on my cosplay page already. So, but, um, so then you set your right to four, your orange to number three, your green to number seven. Stitch length set to R. Differential feed set to 1.0. Okay, so let's, all right, let's see if we can uh, get that. Get over it, switch, you, there you go, all right. Why does all my machines have to be so fickle? All right, so what we're doing is making doggy neckerchiefs. So let me pull up this guy. So this is my 20 year old one from my ship. But it fits my Basenji now because my Basenji has a 12 inch neck. So, so the longest part of the neckerchief, let me pull this back so you can see. So this one is this is the price widest point. So your width of your neckerchief is going to be 11 inches. Like that. Okay. So then you cut them out and you can use pinking shears. So pinking shears do the zigzag cut. Or you can use a rotary cutter, which are awesome too. But I didn't want to get all my rotary stuff out. So here is what we're going to do.
it's done. Makes a nice little edge. And it rolls it under to the underside. And you go to the top and do the same. Make sure your feed dogs catch your fabric or else it will not go through. Because mine is very fickle like that, so sometimes I lift the presser foot up and put it down. your scissors or your shears, your pinking shears, what have you. Clip your threads. Clip your threads. There you have a cute little doggy neckerchief. So I do sell doggy neckerchiefs. Uh, there will be they are $15 each. Just let me know what you have in mind. I will find fabric and give you and give you uh, an idea of what I can make for you. So you guys have a good night. I'm gonna go feed my horse. So be safe. <laughs>